where's your head at right now when it comes to investing in AI? I think you know AI literally is happening everywhere all at once. And uh, this week, uh, one of our portfolio companies, Databrick, uh, acquired Mosaic ML for 1.3 billion. And ov obviously, we're also really, really into any infrastructure layer that is supporting the AI ecosystem. Um, Let's but, uh, go ahead. No, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I think we, we should stick with it and jump on this. Databricks acquiring Mosaic, pretty significant acquisition. What did you make of it, the rationale behind it, and, and what it's going to do to shake things up right now here in Silicon Valley in San Francisco? Yeah, it's, it's really exciting time to be. Like, if you look at what, what um, Databrick particularly, in the last 60 days, they acquired three different companies. Um, uh, Akira, which is focused on more on the data governance, and then also Rubicon, which is two weeks ago, that focused on um, data storage. So now having Mosaic ML, it basically complete the story and um, building their own LLM. I think like the world the world is heading is, in some sense, um, I think you know, enterprise AI is having an iPhone moment. Everybody want a piece of AI. Um, but not just because you want to do AI doesn't mean that you will do it well. And I think a lot of the enterprise is a little weary about you know, feeding data to open AI. It's just like a black box, right? The world wants open source. The world wants to keep their propriety data. Hence, you know, Databricks comes in because it's really built on Apache Spark, which is an open source framework. And now you'll be able to basically build your own enterprise LLM on your own data. So that's really what you know, Databricks is pushing. So at the end of the day, you know, we've been always been saying, you know, data is really the key gold mine. And for us, the way that we look at in terms of our investment is who actually have access to propriety data. And, and it's not just about training a general personal AI, because if you think about it, right, um, if I ask a question to ChatGPT on, you know, wh who is the best doctor? Um, my, my mom recently had a um, heart, heart problem. And she would rather talk to a doctor that have seen you know, thousands of similar um, patients with similar disease versus just, you know, I'm not quite sure to where the data come from. So essentially, that's what you know, yes. Databrace is trying to do. So, so there's also the transactional part of this. We had Ali Godzi, the CEO of Databricks, on the show two weeks ago. And he said, quote, when it comes to AI, right now, you have to pay up. In other words, get your checkbook out, valuations. This is getting a little big. You think about inflection. We reported with the CEO in the show today, $1.3 billion round at $4 billion. Proportionately, what do you make of that? Yeah, I, I, I really enjoy your segment um, with the CEO inflection. $1.3 billion raise is exactly the same amount uh, how much Ali have paid for Mosaic ML. And, but as you mentioned earlier in the show that you know, inflection actually have access uh, to the H100 and their partnership with NVIDIA, which to me is super fascinating. And in some sense, yes, there's a lot of hype, but yet I think there is like so much room and things going on that can be improved, not let alone, obviously, everybody is saying like, we're building on, on LLM, but we also need to think about data privacy. We need right. to think about how do we correct hallucination we don't want to just come up with some random recommendation for which doctor to go to because there's a lot more tuning need to be done. Well, Edith, on the point of, of inflection, you know, H100s are, are, are everything in the AI story right now, the GPU compute power. Are you phoning up Ali at Databricks and saying, what GPUs have you guys got access to? <laughs> you know, down the road, how much of a concern is that for you as a venture capitalist? Um, I think, you know, Ali have previously explained before, which is when you are training a much smaller subset of data set, uh, what Reinflection is really focusing on is literally building a personal LLM, right? So that would, could be um, an ad, ad a GPT or either GPT, but what Databricks is focusing on is training a much more subset, smaller data set of um, of data, uh, enterprise data. So in that sense, you don't really need sort of the, the H100 to train. 
Um, but but absolutely, Nvidia is on fire, <laughs> being uh, over a trillion dollar um, in market cap now, um, and being able to secure so the chipset, especially the H100 or the A100, is super super important for you know all LOM focused companies.